Hey guys, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome back to the Half-Life Opposing Force walkthrough for the PC, played on the Difficult Difficulty. This is the original 1999 release with some patches installed. This is Chapter 12, Worlds Collide, the last full-length chapter of Opposing Force. Alright, and here is the displacer location for this section. This chamber again, but you know what? We're going to use the Barnacle Tongue. Ha <laughs> ha, yes indeed. Because sadly, this was the last time we get to use the Barnacle Tongue, so... Yeah, enjoy it while we had it. Anyway, here is the exit teleporter, so yeah. Alright, so you can use the sniper rifle to kill off everybody, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Down the left path, we see a black ops lady shaking her ass around for everyone. That's quite tempting. Anyways, down her side passageway is a second black ops lady, so snipe her off as well. And then there's a Black Ops guy over here, but when you snipe him off, scoot backwards. Because the Black Ops guy behind him will start firing. But don't worry, he won't be able to move. So we'll ignore him, aim down the side passageway, and wait for someone to come into view. Alright, and now we'll take care of the shooting Black Ops guy. Alright, and that was the first wave of Black Ops people for this section. So now we'll go down the side passageway. Now, behind this sandbag wall is another Black Ops guy. And then to the right of the sandbag wall, I like to use night vision here, there's another Black Ops guy. And now we'll jump over the sandbag wall and we'll head over to the left side. Now aim over this metal crate here and you'll be able to snipe off a Black Ops guy manning a mounted gun. Make sure you kill him from here. And the last Black Ops guy is around the crate. His back is to us, so that's always a good thing. And that's it. That's all the Black Ops guys you can kill in this first section. So now we'll go back and open up these crates for the health. Now, there are some crates up here, and you can break the crates with the pistol, but there is no way to get up there to grab the items. There's no way up there. If you know of a way up there, please let me know about it. And you hear that sound? That is the annoying sound of the moving crates over here. It's terrible. Anyway, go across the tracks, quickly man the machine gun, because there's some Black Ops. And so now we'll go back across and make sure we killed everybody. Which, yes, we did. Okay, so now we'll go back across the tracks and go behind the mounted gun because you don't want to miss the Desert Eagle ammo. Alright, so now what we're going to do is go along the tracks with the crates. Down this way. And just head up here. Now, I like to be quiet up in this section because there's a Black Ops guy, and I have my machine gun grenades ready, and I just fired two grenades down this hole right here. Yep, he's dead. See, there's his gun. Quite efficient. And you can break open these crates over here and get some more machine gun grenades. So yeah, there's no penalty in using them here. So now we'll drop down the hole where he was, go inside this alcove, and that alcove over there is our next destination. And 
there we go. And there's the second alcove, our next destination. But have the sniper rifle ready because you want to snipe off a Black Ops guy as quickly as possible. There he is. Okay. Yeah, don't do like I did and miss like twice in a row. Just kill the first guy, and then the second guy that also shows up. For a total of, um, two Black Ops. Just bash the crates, and then go up the elevator. Where we have some more crates to bash. And now we'll enter into another crate maze. But this one isn't so bad. There's a tipped over crate over there, and to the right of it is a Black Ops guy. You want to kill him quickly. The second guy will come into view. Whoa! Okay. That second guy doesn't usually toss a grenade, but... Um, yeah, he did this time. So, be careful of that. Alright, and now comes the task of climbing up the crates to get to the very top of them. It's not that difficult, just... climb up the crates. Just make sure to don't fall off. And you'll come to two passages up here, on the left and on the right. Now the passage on the left is actually blocked by a crate, so you can't get past it. So we'll have to go down the passage on the right. Now down here is a breakable crate that has some frag grenades inside. But if you drop down there to grab the grenades, you'll have to go all the way back around and up to where you are right now. So it's up to you. Walk in, then walk back out, because down below, there's an infight battle going on between the aliens and the Black Ops, and you want that battle to continue. The aliens will usually beat the Black Ops because they have two Voltagors, which is never a good thing, which means you have to go and snipe them off. And I see one on my left, so I'm going to use grenades against him. And he's dead. I also saw a shock roach, or a shock trooper, rather, down below. I'm looking for him. Oh, there's another Voltagore. Okay, um... Oh, we'll use this. We'll use this. Well, that's quite effective. I thought I saw a shock trooper, and once you kill all the aliens, then a second wave will spawn in. Yeah, a second wave, and the, and the second wave is not as bad, though. Just looking for the shock trooper, because the aliens won't spawn until everyone's dead. Oh, there he is. He's behind the red containers there. See if we can't get him out. Come on. Okay, I'll just see if I can snipe him off with this. There we go. Okay, so we're waiting on the enemies to spawn in now, the second wave. The second wave isn't so bad, it just has a couple of shock troopers. Um, are we gonna spawn in? Or maybe there's someone else alive down there. That's not good. That means I have to jump on the moving crates, or the swinging crates. Okay. That's not good. Oh, never mind. Okay, good. Here they spawn. Okay, so when they spawn, another wave of Black Ops will also appear, and will also infight with them. 
Okay, I don't hear any infighting. Did the Black Ops even show up? Oh, here they come. Okay, N now we're back on track, hopefully. And um, it it actually depends on who will win this because it's so it's so evenly matched. Two shock troopers versus two um, black ops. I don't see anyone alive. Usually there's a victor somewhere. Oh well. Okay. So now we'll have to jump on the swinging crate. This is very nerve wracking, and you don't want to fall because if you do. You're dead. This is very tough. Take as much time as you need. Now, with this red container, just run off onto it. Don't jump. You'll take some damage that way. And then from here, you can just jump onto this area right here. That's also a nerve-wrecking jump. And then you can just take these crates down to the ground. Just keep hopping along them. I... Oh, okay. Wonderful. Now everyone is dead. I thought I heard somebody. But yeah, there's really no generic walkthrough for this. Just let everyone in fight and then kill the stragglers. That's all there is to it. And then, you know, use the swinging crates to come down. Which is kind of nerve-wracking. Alright, so now we'll continue on. And up this slope where we have some more crates. I guess you're a good guy, Corporal. Listen, you've got to get down below. There's something coming through, and it's the nastiest looking thing yet. Some of your buddies went down there a while ago, and I haven't seen them since. I've got some weapons I've piled up in here. You better take as much as you can carry, because I think this is it. Good luck, Corporal. There's something coming through, and we have to kill it. Let's stock up on everything, because this is the final battle of the game. So grab everything. Even from the shelves. This is it, guys. This is the final battle coming up next. Let's head down the elevator. Now there's a fan over there and it's blowing me this way and will also blow these couple of crates my way too. So when they get near just bash them. You have to fight the current of the air to get over here. Okay so with the crates bashed here is the final displacer location. Yes the final one of the game. Well, we haven't seen this in a while. Let's jump down to the ammo canister down there. And then just run off this ledge onto the lower ledge. Don't jump off, because you'll take some damage that way. But yeah, that's it for all the displacer locations in this game. Okay, you have to go against the air current to get to the other side of the room. and then just go down the stairs where we have some more crates to bash and they give us a lot of Desert Eagle ammo and there's a hatch in the wall so let's push this barrel over to the hatch and you have to jump crouch onto the barrel to get onto it effectively and then just crouch into the hatch and there's some armor batteries. Now remember where these things are. They're going to come in handy later on. And then just crouch out of the hatch. And now we can continue on through the door. And there's a ladder that's been alienified at the top, so we can't climb it. We have to use the rope instead. So just climb up and then swing over to the ledge. 
Now this healing pool, again, remember where it is because it will come in handy. And now let's enter the final boss's room. There's a purple portal and something is trying to get inside. Now use the barnacle tongue to grab hold of these pods. The spore launcher is going to come in handy for this boss fight. And the screen will will flash purple, which is kind of cool and nice attention to detail. Something is trying to break through. And there it is! That is the Gene Worm, everybody. The Gene Worm. A very powerful boss. You want to get his attention so he'll use his attack on you and you can dodge it. He'll shoot out poison gas. When he does that, run over to the laser gun and then shoot out his left eye and then run to the right side. You want to repeat the process with his right eye. Basically just let him fire his poison gas at you. And then hide and then run for the laser gun on the right side and then fire at his eye. Alright, now his pouch will open up. That is his weak spot. That is where the spore launcher will come in handy. So let's do it. Let's fire into his open pouch. When you get a critical hit, he'll launch out a shock trooper, and you have to kill him. Okay, now we'll go back and use the rope. And again, remember where that healing pool is. You're going to need it. Now we have to repeat the process all over again. On the left side, let's wait for him to shoot his poison gas. And then... The laser gun to his eye, and then... But don't run to the right side. The catwalk will break, so we'll have to use this ladder. But the ladder at the bottom is broken, so we can't get back up this way. Let's go back and use the rope. Okay, now for the right eye. Come on, big ugly insectoid. Alright, his pouch has reopened, so once again, spore launcher time. Aim for the very back of his pouch. The number of hits you have to do in his pouch is random. Usually, maybe you can get him in two, sometimes three, but most of the time four. It usually takes four hits, so that was the second one. But who knows, maybe I'll get him on three. We'll find out. Now the catwalk has been destroyed, so we'll have to use the barnacle tongue to get across. And then quickly hide, very quickly, because he'll shoot his poison gas. And you sometimes can't avoid when, he's, when he whacks at you like that. It's hard to avoid. And now I'm going to go back and get the armor batteries that I left. Because I am running low on armor. That's why they give them to you here. They come in handy. We're almost done, guys, with the boss. This is exciting.
So we still have his right eye to deal with. Oops. Okay. That's okay. We have a healing pool. It can be sometimes tough to swing just right to get across, so it may take some practice. And that poison gas hurts a lot. All right, now for round number three. Let's shoot into his pouch, and let's see what happens. Well, I guess we have to do it four times. You can use other weapons to shoot into his pouch, but the spore launcher does a lot of splash damage. All right, let's see. Yeah, I've never gone over four times, so this should be the last round. Quickly hide, quickly hide. Here we go. Alright, one more eye to take care of. And yeah, pieces of the catwalk will start falling through, so don't fall through the gaps. You'll fall to your death. And that's never a good thing. We've come so close just to die. Alright, here we go, the final eye. Let's do this. He's dead. Well, what happened? Well, Adrian Shepard fell unconscious. He got knocked out. So what's going to happen to our brave comrade? Well, we'll find out in the final short chapter of the game. Chapter 13, Conclusion, which will be in the next video. I'm Big Mac Davis, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.